This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hopefully you are okay. We are in Wrexham, or at least we're on our way to Wrexham anyway. We have had a very early start this morning. I left my house at half past three. <laughs> yes, half past three. Got to the yard just before four o'clock and we left shortly after 4 a.m. this morning. We're currently on nearly three hours of drive time. And um, yeah, it's about seven o'clock in the morning, just before. We've got four minutes to go until it's seven o'clock. And we are five minutes away from our delivery point, which is um, James Jones in Wrexham. We've got a load of timber on. Um, you might be able to see it in a second once we go around this roundabout. Um, it's a place that we deliver to quite often. And uh, yeah, we've got a very strict 7 a.m. delivery time slot. So that's uh, why we're aiming to get in. I don't think you can see it on the dash cam. Now, as I record this video, it is after the last video went live, which was the 360 video. Um, and obviously I was asking for your feedback and the majority of the feedback, it seems, does not like the 360 footage, which is fair enough. That's why I tried it. I wanted to try it out, try new things. If you don't try new things, you get left behind. There were a few comments saying, why are you messing around with like trying new things? Why do you just stick to what you're good at? Blah, blah, blah. To which I kind of agree with you, but also you've got to try out new things. You can't just use the old things and that's it. So we're going to do predominantly GoPro footage, which is what we're using now. However, I may try using some 360 footage because there were a few comments saying that it might be okay if it was not all the time. So, for example, when I'm out and about of the truck, inspecting the load, strapping up, things like that, maybe I can use the 360 footage then. Uh, a lot of people were saying they didn't like um, the warpness of it, which is like the fish eye, and there is a way of getting rid of that, so it doesn't have to be fish eyed. Um, on the app itself, it's called de-warp, so I can always make sure it's not warped at all. That would be good. And I think a few people were saying that the, the spinning was too fast. So again, I can make that a little bit slower. Me, personally, I quite like the quick spinning, personally. And maybe if it's not as frequent, it wouldn't be so bad. So we are going to experiment. We're going to keep trying new things, because if we don't, we get left behind. So we will keep trying new things. Um, but the thing I didn't like the most about the 360 footage was the audio. Totally agree with you on that. A few people mentioned the audio. Yeah, it's not great. Obviously, right now I'm speaking to you via a microphone. You can hear me nice and clearly. When it was uh, the, when the 360 was on inside the cab, it just picked up all the background noise and uh, wasn't very good. But outside it was okay. So I think we're going to use it outside and see how we got on with it. It might not be a permanent thing. It might be. Who knows? We will experiment. Anyway, as for what we have planned for today, um, it's a pretty easy day to be fair. We've um, taken a big chunk of driving out of our driving time allowance already today. Like I said, we're only on three hours. We've got to go deliver this to James Jones and Wrexham. There's a lorry in front, and I've got a funny feeling it's going to the same place. We do have a booking time for 7 a.m., so it'll be interesting to see if we're both booked for 7 a.m. Once we tipped here, we've got to go to Liverpool, get loaded with rebar and then we've got to take that down to Kent but we probably won't get that off today it'll be delivered for the morning so we're probably going to be parking up in Dartford tonight I already know where I'm going to be parking so um, yeah lovely jubbly I am wondering where this lorry is going if it's going to the same place it's going to the same place not a lot we can do about it we are arriving on time so that's all good Okay, half a mile and we shall turn left. There is a chance that that truck's going to turn left down the main road. We're just coming up in a moment. If it goes straight past the left turn in a moment, then it could be going to the same place. If it doesn't go left here. Yeah, okay, it's going left, so it's not going to the same place we are. Never mind. Don't have to worry about that. We shall crack on down here. We're not going to the Wheat Bridge. There is a Wheat Bridge down here in two miles' time. But we are coming off in 600 yards. Okay, we're going to start indicating. And we're going to pop into this place here. Lovely jubbly. 
it is two minutes past seven. So we're late. <laughs> we're late by two minutes. Oh no. Raise me up, seat. Raise me up. If I had my seat up as high as it goes, we're still going. Dur during traveling. Um, well, I mean, I can't see. <laughs> I cannot see out of the windscreen. It's too high. <laughs> right, let's go get these straps off. So, this is what I was saying. Whilst out and about of the truck, I could potentially um, use the 360 footage to show you what we got on the trailer. So, as you can see, we're fully loaded with timber. And uh, we've also got a piece on the back. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if you can see up there, there's some slats that have come loose. Again, that's why I like the 360 camera, because we can turn around and zoom in. Um, anyway, I'm going to get these straps off and, uh, yeah, go from there. I'll see you in a bit. Now, now what I use is chrome window cleaner. I actually need to buy some more, I'm nearly running out. But give it a couple of squirts round, give it a wipe and it gets rid of all the brake dust. And try and keep on top of it when the, uh, when the weather's nice like this. When it's raining, it's a bit harder. And uh, do the other side as well while we're here. It's only normally the front wheel which is the worst because obviously that's where the, the main brakes are. And uh yes. Right, we are tipped. Raise me up. <laughs> Let's put the yard out of the way. We don't need that. Uh we will need it later, but not right now. Anyway, engine on. Mid lift axle up. Do you know what? There's a video I put on Facebook where um, someone goes, Oh, why are you driving with your mid lift axle down? And it was literally just after I'd been tipped and I was just spinning around on site. And it's, it's like, <laughs> Give me a chance. <laughs> anyway, that 360 footage, um, something which I forgot to mention is in the video where it was all 360, it was also rendered in 1080p as opposed to all the footage in this video you're seeing is being rendered at 4K. Um, it's, it'd be uploaded to YouTube in 1080p still, but it's being rendered in a higher quality. So hopefully that uh, alleviates some of the um, distortion I think some people were seeing. Um, but I don't know, we'll see. It's, we're, it's trial and error, trial and error, baby. Like I said, the most, the most part, it's going to be GoPro footage as normal. It's just, um, Try something new in it. Right, anyway, we have got, well, we're basically on the red now for fuel. So we've got to go to uh, the fuel station. There's a shower garage a few miles away, it's en route. So we're gonna to pop to the shower garage, top up with fuel. Then we're gonna to get to Liverpool. Uh, we should be in Liverpool, quarter past nine, 20 past nine, something like that. It's pretty decent. And uh, obviously the quicker we're loaded, the quicker we're gonna finish today. Because it's due for delivery tomorrow so uh, yeah we will um, go and get it delivered in the morning but we will get as far as we can go tonight which I think is going to be Dartford yeah I think we'll park up in Dartford I think we'll park up in Dartford right I'm going to crack on and uh, I'll see you in a bit right I've just seen one fire engine go down there that's the second one Guess where we're going? Down there. Hopefully everything's okay. So we are less than a mile away. Uh, we're probably gonna get stopped at these traffic lights. 
go, 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 Lovely. Yes, yeah, so we're just around the corner now from where we need to be to get collection done. Um, we not only did we stop for fuel, uh, I also stopped for a 15 minute break as well and lay by. Um, the, the IV codes, man, they do this thing where sometimes the infotainment system, the volume knob, stops working. Not only on the infotainment system itself, but on the steering wheel as well. Like the, the, the volume just doesn't go up or down, it's stationary. And I had well over an hour drive to do, so I pulled into the lay by. And the trick is to turn your engine off and just let it go let it go dead all the electricity battery i mean just let it all go dead and then when you restart it back up again it normally fixes itself it sorts itself out so that's what i did uh, but i thought while i was there i'll have a 15 minute break in the lay-by so um yeah we did that we had a break sorted out the infotainment system uh and now we're just around the corner from where we need to be we're, it's quarter to 10 right now uh, and also we went a slightly longer way because I didn't want to go and use the um, the bridge. So I went a slightly longer way around. We're not in a rush today, so it's about the same in terms of price. Pay, pay for the crossing or pay for the fuel, so it doesn't matter too much. Not from the direction we were coming from anyway. So uh, yeah, we are going to get loaded. I'm pretty sure it's going to be mesh, but it could be rebar. It could be rebar. Could even be coils, actually, thinking about it. Oh, no, you're on the left. Haha, <laughs> on the left. <laughs> for some reason, I thought we were approaching from the other direction. I was looking on the right for it. It's on the left. Great. Well, good news is, other than the one truck in front of us, there's no one else here. Uh, if we're getting loaded with mesh, we should be straight in. If it's mesh. Right, so I'm going to book in, speak to the guy, and then um, I'll see you in a little while. See you in a bit. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now. Link is in the description down below. Okay, and for those of you who want phone footage and not 360 footage, hang on, I've got to try and catch this with one hand. <laughs> um, yeah, here we go, we've got some phone footage as well. Ugh. So, we can try and please everyone. Anyway, we're loaded. We have been here 10 minutes, fully loaded. So, uh, now we've just got to go and uh, strap it all up. That's what we're going to do now. But I can't believe we've literally only been here for 10 minutes. I was rapid. It's, uh, it's 5 past 10. 10 past 10. I'm well happy with that. <laughs> right, let's go strap up. Right, we are fully strapped up. We put three straps on each row. We've got three rows of uh, this mesh it's 22 minutes past 10 not too shabby it's uh it's one of those places where i mean i got it strapped up in like less than 10 minutes but you don't want to rush too much because it takes a while for your uh paperwork to come anyway so no rush basically so we go sit back in the truck take our shoes off wait for the paperwork get it signed and uh, make our way down. We've got to stop for half an hour break. That's no reason why I had a 15 minute break earlier because um, well, we've got to stop for half an hour on the way down. Um, so might as well just have half an uh, sorry, 15 minutes now look, before we make our way down. Wait, our paperwork. If we leave now, it says we'd be parked up by three o'clock. <laughs> well, we've got to get a break in on the way down as well. So, as long as we don't get messed around in traffic, we could be parked up for four o'clock. 
Why don't you make the delivery, I hear you say. Well, that's four o'clock parked up. That's not four o'clock at the delivery point. By the time we get to the delivery point, it'll be more like half four, quarter to five. That's if there's no traffic. And, uh, well, it's due for tomorrow anyway, so. We just head there in the morning. Just head there in the morning. So, let's wait for the paperwork. Right. We are loaded and we are leaving. Um, like I said, it's four and a half hours to get there. Uh, plus we need to get a break on the way down. And I'm not sure, but we might have to stop at an Iveco dealer on the way. I'm not sure yet. I need to double check, but um, we just got a message come up saying that there's water in the fuel filter, even though the fuel cap is on. So I need to call Iveco and get that checked up. So I'm just gonna get out of here. I've got to leave because there's people waiting to get loaded as well. I'm gonna park up at the next nearest safe place and then um, phone the dealer and find out um, what the crack is. So uh, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, you join me at Leicester Services and we've just stopped. I was gonna park in one of these bays properly, but we've got a little bit of an overhang on the trailer and I didn't wanna, they're yeah, quite tight, so I didn't wanna come out, turn right and then take a truck out. So I've just sort of parked behind this one on the way out. There's plenty of space for people to get past me. So uh, yeah, we need half an hour break here. We're gonna go and use the toilet facilities and then we will crack on didn't quite realise how much driving time we had taken up. If we're going to get to the place where I plan on parking up tonight, we're going to be rocking up on about nine and a half hours drive time. So what that means is, if we get caught in traffic, it could put us over 10, or very close to, which obviously is the legal limit. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to pop to the toilet. Uh, see you in a bit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we'll be there, right there. As you can see, a little bit of an overhang. So. Better safe than sorry. Right, to the toilet. Like there are one or two spaces there I could have gone in, but to get out and turn right, uh, I would be worried that the back end would um, hit the cab. So I'll just park there, it's only half an hour, and then we'll be off. We're not staying the whole night, so should be fine. Like I said, six more minutes and we will be off. There was a bit of traffic in this uh, on the on the main road on the way in, but it seems to be moving freely now. There was one lane closed, but it's moving fine now, so it should be good on the way out. Like I said, the problem we've got to contend with now is that we're on seven hours and 10 minutes of driving already. Which means we can only do one hour and 50 minutes from here on a nine hour drive, but we can do two hours, 50 minutes on a 10 hour drive, two hours, 50. We're two hours and 27 minutes away from where we need to be. So, uh, what's that, 34, 23, this got, got, we've got 23 minutes in it. If we, uh, if we get held up in traffic anywhere for 23 minutes or more, we won't make it. But I'm hoping we can, fingers crossed. Right, break is over. Let's get on out of here, turn the music down, drive. It's all clear. We've actually had 31 minutes break. To me <laughs> we had an extra minute it's fine we're, we're fine we're good we're good we're good all right give way to the car on the right the one that's going very slow i was giving way to it it wasn't paying attention to real it didn't realize i was there waiting i think it wants to pull over looks like an uber driver is it pulling over no it's going on yeah, so as I was saying, um, we're two and a half hours, just under two and a half hours from where we need to be. And uh, according to the tachograph machine, we've got two hours and 50 minutes. So there's only 20 minutes in it. Only 20 minutes in it. Should be okay. Fingers crossed. Just got to get through Dartford. <laughs> Once we get past Dartford, we'll be, uh, we'll be laughing. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. We are now on the motorway on the M1. I don't really do much filming on the motorway. It's a bit boring. See you when we get a little bit closer. See you in a bit. Right. It's been a long time. We've been stuck in an awful lot of traffic. But we are finally here where we are staying up, staying for the night. Um, 
Gonna be honest with you, we've gone over driving time. We are over 10 hours driving, which is not good, but what can you do? We've got stuck in traffic. We're currently at 10.05. We just need to spin around and then um, park up over here, look. That's what we're gonna do. Now we do have a car behind me. I did this in one hit last time, but I think I'm gonna have to just stop here a sec, let the cars pass. Cars right at my bottom. So it's gonna have to be a spin aroundy jobby. Thank you. And yeah, so um, we're done. We're gonna park up over here and then uh, put it on rest, because <laughs> we've gone over. We've gone over. Unfortunately, we got caught in a lot of traffic. A lot of traffic which um, didn't help matters at all. So yeah, we are now on rest. It's, um, it's 4.34, so it's still quite early in the afternoon-ish. But unfortunately, we got caught in a lot of traffic going over Dartford. And uh, we, were, well, we were way past the point of no return. We had to commit, so this is like literally the next safest place I could park. So what happens now is I've got to do a printout and um, basically right on the back of it why I went over my driving time and uh, if I do get pulled by DVSA I got a written record of why I went over now they don't mind as long as it's not all the time you know they're not going to grumble too much over five minutes if it was an, over, an hour over then yeah they'd, they'd, they'd potentially grumble now the only the only thing they might be concerned with is that it's five minutes over in into a ten. I mean, they'd be more they'd be more upset it's five minutes over a ten than five minutes over a nine, if that makes sense. But yeah, not a lot we can do about it. And um, you know, I don't lie to my viewers. I tell the truth. I'm a big fan of telling the truth. You know, if you make a mistake, own up to it. If you go over, own up to it. What's the worst that can happen? Could lose your license <laughs> get a massive fine but you know it is what it is went over because of traffic over dartford safe place to park time it date it sign it and then you've done everything that you could do to prove that you know you a you knew you went over and you know you just didn't think and uh, and b there was a reason written my reason why on the back signed it dated it that can now go in the folder down there i'll keep hold of that for a month maybe two and then um get rid of it after that but yeah but it's quite warm i'm still wearing a hoodie but um 22 degrees according to the um, system so yeah man that's going to be it for this afternoon I will see you in the morning we will get this delivered in the morning and then um, probably start a new video from there I already know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow so little uh, hint for the next video after this hopefully uh, we're going to be tipping this in the morning then we're going to be going to uh, Gravesend, get loaded with Remix, that's going to, um, I think he said it was going to Reading Way, so it's going up towards Reading somewhere, Thatcham I think he said, then it'd be a case of, from Thatcham, go to Swindon, get the truck looked at, because it, it's got some water in the fuel filter apparently, and apparently all you've got to do is just drain the filter, I don't know, I don't know how you do that, but they said it's, it's a two minute job, apparently it's a common thing, so we drain the water from the fuel filter, there's been no loss of performance or anything like that. And then we've got to go 
to the sawmill, get loaded for Hereford, and then we deliver that the morning after. And yeah, so we've got an idea of what we're doing and that's what to, uh, to look forward to in the next few videos. But I will see you in the morning. See you in a bit. Right, good morning everyone. Welcome, it is the next day. For me now it's Tuesday and uh, well, we are in Chatham now. We've just got to come out of this tunnel and then uh, we're pretty much arriving in the docks. It's currently 10 past seven. I'm aiming to be here before half seven, which was the time I arrived last time. I have been here before. Uh, last time I come here, uh, not only did they tell me half seven was the time they unload, but also, I was actually here for four hours. Now, if we're here for four hours today, it's going to mess up my day today. <laughs> um, but you'll probably see that in the next video because I'm going to end this video when we get there and then start a new one. It's, uh, it is a high tan truck, I believe. Shout out, Fat Boy. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, we want to go here, here on the left. But rather than just drive straight in, I like to spin around and park up on the other side of the and then go in to see it. So let's do that. Spin round. We're doing a blind side of those as well. Just to make things slightly more interesting. Either telling me to go forward or he was saying hello. <laughs> I didn't I didn't sorry mate, I didn't quite see your hands. But I reckon he's I think he spotted me, I think he recognised me. Wasn't that the truck that said fat boy on it as well? Shout out fat boy. Um right, let's go. Right, so as expected I have gone and spoke to someone. And uh, well, they've already told me that uh, I'm going to be out here for half an hour, so wait to be let in. So the straps are coming off already. Why not? So yeah, not a lot else we can do apart from undo the straps. So wait to be let in, and then um, once we're let in, we drive to wherever they need us. They take it off and uh, we just crack on. So I think I am going to end the video here and then uh, we'll pick up a separate video. So keep an eye out on the next one, but yeah. So yeah, I'm off. Thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it. I need to get my hair cut out, don't I? <laughs> Do appreciate it. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Let me know, leave some comments down in the comment section below about the 360 footage. Obviously I used a little bit tonight at the beginning of the video, just out and about. Uh, right now we're using my phone footage. Let me know what you think, and uh, we'll take from there. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.